Hi everybody in YouTube land, it's DC here and I just want to show you the setup. It's the same setup that I've been playing about with for quite a while now and um, I've made some discoveries here. Um, just for those people that are just joining us, um, this experiment is the uh, Nikola Tesla's uh, hairpin experiment and what we've got is a, a regulated wall supply, DC output, DC uh, motor, a uh, rubber connection here which is uh, very important, a mooring um, washer pump which is an alternator, a capacitor, high voltage transformer, a spark gap and Nikola Tesla set up for two stout bars with capacitors. Um, the uh, schematics of it here, um, I'm sorry about the light but um, I hope uh, you can see this alright. We've got to start from the mains coming in, we've got the main supply coming in then we've got that DC of power unit which powers DC voltage to a DC motor which is a 36 volt motor um, this motor then goes to the mooring pump which is an alternator which sends alternating current to a transformer. From the transformer it steps it up to high voltage, that's AC low voltage to AC high voltage and then we take it to a, a spark gap here which is adjustable. Uh, it has to be fine tuned the spark gap and then we've got uh, two caps and then we've got the stout bar. What's interesting this morning, and I, I'm just getting my head around it, I think what I've found are scalar waves. It's certainly making me think. Uh, and then here, what we're doing here, where the stout bar is and the cap, we're, we're bringing in a clean earth wire. So it's a clean earth wire. I'm going to put it at two points. One point there on the cap and one point the other side on the cap. So you've got sort of one point which is high voltage live and the other side which is um, it, dielectric. So um, here we go, I'm going to switch it on and um, we'll get going. Right, so the system's running. Um, just to show you the, the spark gap here, I've got a mains tester here. I don't know if you can see that but the mains test is live. It's live. It's certainly live on the cap and on the other cap. I hope you can see this. Just a little bit live there but not much. And the same there. A little bit live but not much. But here obviously this side it's really live. So we've got the dielectric side and the live Okay, my phone just dropped out again, but now we're getting to the interesting bit where um, this is my latest discovery here. We've got here uh, just a, norm, a normal um, tester for mains testing. Um, as you would expect, this, this is running and live now. We've got uh, high voltage going through, but it's only, um, it's not that high of voltage. I think it's around about 10,000 volts at the moment. It might be less than that. Uh, I don't know whether you can see that, but on the spark gap it's live. There's a very small uh, spark gap on each side of the capacitor, as you would expect. It's showing live on each side of the capacitor. But the other side of the capacitor, which is in the dielectric, is showing not live. Yet, we've got two lights here, which are obviously lit nearly to full brightness and yet it's it's in the dielectric it's cold and actual fact we're going to touch it there you go no shot whatsoever no shot whatsoever now then what's really really interesting now um, is if I get the um, an earth earth wire here I am just going to Put the earth wire, which is a clean earth wire, connect it to the capacitor. Now as soon as I do that, it starts to make the whole circuit go live here. So, even, even to the mooring motor, and believe it or not there's an insulator here, even to the DC motor. 
And this, this motor here is not connected at all. Yet that's showing live as well, so it's obviously receiving a vibration and magnetic flux. And I think, maybe not, but if I just leave that there and turn up the voltage a little bit, which will increase the flux, eventually it will come through here. Maybe not. <laughs> but this side, it, this might be live now because I've, I've upped the. Yeah, now that's gone to live now, which has obviously gone past a certain threshold. I wouldn't like to touch it now. <laughs> but it's very interesting what's happening in the uh, di dielectrics. Very interesting. And obviously, here now, this is dead. This is. But it should be high. And also here at the spark cap. Because it's earthed, I can touch that as well. Yeah. Wow. So it's like, this is interesting. A big learning curve. I, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll do another video on this uh, to uh, give you a better example of what's going on. Okay, DC signing out for now. That's a, that's a DC supply gone, gone to AC. My God. Even even the wire here, which isn't connected, that this is just connected to this motor. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs>